Welcome to October's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is complement of base 10 integer. Every non-negative integer n has a binary representation. For example, 5 can be represented as 101, 11 as 1011 in binary, and so on. Note that except for n equals 0, there are no leading zeros in any binary representation. Okay, so the complement is basically when you change every 1 to a 0 and 0 to a 1. For example, 101 is going to be 010 in binary. So we want to return this complement given some sort of integer in a binary representation. All right, so they give you a hint, and one of the things we can realize is a binary number plus its complement is going to equal the 111, the length of however many binary positions there are. So therefore, if we can just figure out what the 111 number is, all we would need to do is subtract the number n given to us, and that's going to be its complement. Now, first I thought I could use the not operator, um, but that doesn't work for reasons I don't want to get into. Basically, what we're going to have to do is calculate what this 111 number is, and then just subtract our n, therefore returning its complement. So the way that I'm going to do that is, basically, I'm going to convert our number into a binary representation, and this basically returns a string of how it's going to be represented in binary. So 5, you can see... It represents by 101. This 0b here just represents that it's a binary string. So what we'll do is get the length of the numbers here and then create the uh, 111 number and then by subtracting it afterwards. So what I'll do is get the length, we'll call that capital B, and we'll get the length of this bin representation starting from the second position on, right? And Getting this length, now we can just get the ones representation, and that's just going to be, let's say, ones multiplied by b, right? So this would be like 111. If we had a number that's greater, it might be 1111. We don't know yet, so that's what we'll do. Now we have our ones number, and all we need to do then is return the ones minus the n. We could also use the XOR operator if we wanted to, but it uh, doesn't really make much of a difference. So I'm just going to subtract here. Now, one edge case is if n equals 0, this actually doesn't work. So we will have to return a 1 uh, for that edge case. And they tell you that here in the hint. It says n is going to be a corner case. All right, so let's see if this works. What I'm going to have to do actually is represent this into an integer. So what I'll do is int. And we need to use 2 here to represent that, to convert that to a integer properly. And let's see if this works. Okay, so it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go. So are there better ways to do this? There certainly are. Uh, but this just was what came naturally to me because uh, this is what I generally use for converting binaries and stuff. You could build up the number by using like exponent 2. You could um, you can use something like this. You can also use um, the bit leftwise shifts to add ones so on and so forth, but hey, this works fine, so, so we'll go with. All right, so thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.